Hello YouTube. Um, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to scratch in Ableton Live. Um, so before I start, it's not quite like scratching like you would do with like a turntable, CDJ or like your DJ software like Tractor or whatever. But it's sort of a good replica for Ableton if you want to sort of get a few scratch sounding effects into your songs. And it's very simple to do. All you're going to need, Ableton Live obviously, you're going to need a controller with some keys or pads and what at least one rotary knob like I have here. I have a little M Audio Key Station Mini 32, but it will work on anything like Machine, like the AKA MPD range, stuff like that, any keyboard, anything like that. And you're also going to need a sample. So the sample we're using is this Adina Howard Freak Like Me sample. I got a little freakiness inside it. I don't care what. Okay, so what we're going to do. We're going to go into a session view. Just drag that into an audio track and double click to open up the sample. So there's one little bit in here I want to use, which I got a little freakiness and say I'm not about to pay nobody's way Cause it's all about the dog in me. Mm-hmm. I wanna freak this bit here, so what I'm gonna do, so it's this little phrase. I got a little freakiness and some. I want a freak in the morning, a freak in the evening. So, I want to set the start of my sample to the beginning of where I want to sort of play from. So, I'm going to double click and then right click and set 1.1.1 here. So, that will set the start of the sample there. So, when I click play, freak in the morning, a freak in the evening. We've already got it. And then I'm going to find the end of my sample. Freak in the morning, a freak in the evening. Which is here. I'm going to put a warp marker in there. To put a warp marker in, just double click in this little grey bit here. So I just put that in so I know where the end is. And then I'm going to sort of zoom all the way out and grab my end marker and bring it in. And my end is here, so I'm just going to line that up. So then that should be my side. Freak in the morning. Oh, no, it got the wrong one. It's that one there. Freak in the morning, a freak in the evening. Right, so I've got my sample, I'm going to right click and crop sample. So the rest of the stuff is gone, we don't have that anymore. So I want to get these two individual phrases separately. Um, I want to have these two sort of on separate keys to play with. So you could either do this with slice to MIDI or you can do it manually. The one downside doing it um, with slice to MIDI is you will get macros already made up on the sampler and we don't want that because we want to set up our own macros and i know you can delete them but this is just a bit simpler so we've got two um phrases we want to use so we're going to get two going to duplicate the uh, sample double click the first one just drag the end locator so we've got just the bit the first phrase freak in the morning it's a bit sh bit long there we've got a bit of the um second phrase coming in there Freak in the morning. I'll do for now. We can edit it in this sample later on. Then just shorten the second one. Freak in the evening. There we go. So, next task is we are going to um, get a drum rack. Let's drag that into a MIDI MIDI channel. Let's arm that. So you can see when I press the keyboard, it flashes up here. So I'm going to drag my first sample in there. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one again. Freak in the morning. Freak in the morning. Sample will play. Freak in the morning. And drag the second one in. To there. Freak, freak, freak in the evening. Now, what we I want to do is because I see I press the key. Freak in the morning. And this whole sample plays. I don't want that. I just want it so when I hold freak it. Freak in the morning. And then let go, it will play how long I hold it for. So I'm going to get the release parameter here and bring that right down. Freak, freak in the morning. Freak in the freak. So you can see when I let go, the sample stops. I'm going to do it on the other one. <coughs> right, so we've got our samples freak here. Freak 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 on here. Right, so now what we want to do is we want to set up the uh, sort of scratch control. So we're going to go down to pitch here and t press this, click this box to turn the pitch envelope on. And then we're going to go into MIDI map and then press envelope. Oh, God, sorry and turn the knob we want to use to control it. 
then up here the mapping will come up and we want to set at the moment it's minus 48 and plus 48 semitones we want minus 24 you can sort of you don't have to follow this rule but it sort of gets the best out of it so now when we move the knob you'll see this changes and then you press your, your um you know freak, freak, and, then freak, 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 and then when freak, you uh, sort of have it all the way down low it's sort of like building up the pitch and we have it all the way high sort of bring it down so then so if i just get a little little drum loop So it's not like a hundred percent like real scratching, but it's sort of close enough. Now we have two samples in our drum rack, and we want to control both uh, with the same. I want to be able to scratch with both with the same knob. So you can see if I use the second sample break, 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 and, break, break, and adjust the knob, break, 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 break. So To make this happen, we're going to press this button here, which is the macros, and we're going to go into our first sample. Right click on the envelope we we've already mapped and map to macro one. Yeah, and it will replace the um, MIDI mapping you've already done, but that's fine. We can do that again in a minute. And then go on to the second sample. You've got members to turn the pitch envelope on again. And right-click map to envelope uh, map to macro 1, which name will have changed by now. Um, so when you move this, you'll see it's moving the envelope here on this sample. And it's also moving the envelope on this sample. So I just want to go into MIDI map again and map the macro this time. So that's mapped. Now this is um right because this is um done in a value of zero to hundred and twenty seven. Obviously you haven't got your semitones here, so you want a sort of bit of trial and error here. Um sort of plus eighty and thirty will probably do or forty. Maybe plus a hundred or what to a hundred, there we go. So then we've got Free. When we uh, turn the knob, it's going to change the pitch envelope for both samples. Let's play that with a little beat. So, and this is all fully mappable, um, uh, pr uh, sorry, automatable. So in your arrangement, you can have this. You don't have to play it in. You can sort of draw it in. Um, so, yeah, it's about as simple as that, really. And you can do that with up to as many, well, 127 samples. So that's how many, um, 128, sorry. This is how many the drum rack holds. So if you have a big enough controller, then you can do as many samples as you want. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like Subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have any tutorials you want me to do, uh, just put a link in the com uh, sorry, write a comment in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you again soon. Bye.